A person is recorded as missing every two minutes in the UK. Of those, 79% who go missing will return or be found within 24 hours. Only 2% are found within a week. The rest have never been found. My name is Stacey Williams and this is Missing Mystery. Today, I am looking at the missing mystery case of Lorraine Redoubt. Lorraine Redoubt, now a 59-year-old woman, is originally from the Ely area of Cardiff, but moved to Gabalva around 15 years ago. Lorraine was last seen at around 7pm on January 31st, 2016, by the premier Gabalva convenience store shop in Gabalva, and was making her way to a friend's house where a few witnesses claimed to have seen her heading towards College Road. Her last words to her daughter were, I'm going to see my friend. The night of January 31st, 2016, was that of a cold and wet evening, with a temperature of just 6 degrees, which would have been uncomfortable given that Lorraine had no mode of transport other than to walk. Lorraine suffered anxiety and depression, as well as other mental health issues, and had not taken her medication for two weeks before she went missing. She also had left a handbag, which inside contained her mobile phone and tobacco. Her daughter stated that to people who knew her mum, they knew that she went nowhere without her tobacco. It has also been described that her disappearance is completely out of character. Lorraine never turned up to a friend's house, and despite many searches from the National Crime Agency, British Transport Police, National Police Air Service, South Wales Police Horse and Dogs Units, as well as specially trained search officers, she still to this day has not been found. Lorraine is married to Stephen and has two daughters, Christine and Sarah, as well as a son named Peter. Lorraine lived with her husband Stephen, her daughter Christine and Christine's son in a three-bed semi-detached house. In the weeks after her disappearance, hundreds of people from the community have helped search for Lorraine, but have not made any discoveries or possible links to her disappearance. After land searches and scouring the River Taff, officers also spent five days searching Lorraine's home in Aberporth Road in October 2016. The search included digging up her garden, utilising sniffer dogs and a forensics unit. The police were seen putting up a blue tent in the garden and carried out numerous bags of rubble, each with his own grid reference. A further investigation of property on Aberporth Road was taken, but concluded on Friday the 21st of October 2016. As well as the investigation in Lorraine's garden, the police also investigated a property in Hale Trelai in Ely, a nearby suburb in Cardiff. This was Lorraine's son's house. They searched this property in the hope that they would find some clues to Lorraine's disappearance, but to no avail. On June 2nd, 2016, the police lifted manholes to search in the drains for Lorraine. When queried what they were doing, the police advised, there is no evidence Lorraine is in the drainage system, but we had to look as a line of inquiry. There hasn't been any arrests made, despite searches in houses, by air and in local rivers. Although 1,000 lines of inquiry have been made by the police, Hundreds of officers have spent thousands of hours undertaking interviews and examining evidence in the effort to find the mother of three and grandmother of one. In February 2016, Lorraine's daughters contacted psychics in the hope that they would get some answers to her disappearance. The psychics advised that they felt Lorraine had entered the River Taff and was stuck beneath the surface. Lorraine's daughters participated in an extensive search with the police in the dive teams in the location where they felt Lorraine was. However, there were no clues or evidence to suggest this was the case. With time moving on and two years passing by, the family feel that it may be possible that Lorraine is no longer alive, but are asking for help so they can lay her to rest. DCI O'Shea from South Wales Police said there was no evidence Lorraine, who does not hold a passport, had moved to another part of the country or had gone abroad. Lorraine's lifestyle was fairly limited in geographic span. He also said, 
I do believe that the answers to her disappearance is somewhere within North Cardiff. She spent most of her life in and around Gabalba. Anyone with information is urged to contact South Wales Police by calling 101, quote in reference, 014 144, or by calling Crime Stoppers anonymously on 0800 55 5111. If you would like me to cover your missing mystery story, please contact me by email at missingmysteryyt at gmail.com. All the information discussed today has been thoroughly researched and obtained factually. Thank you.